Hey y'all, what it is, bitch. I want to talk about two things today. Um, the first thing, okay, so since I made those videos about the guy I was with for two months who was, tur who turned out to be a snow dusty and lied about his finances essentially and basically led me on for about a vacation, um, I've had comments um, about me leaving him and saying, oh, I thought white men were better. I've had to delete a lot of comments because they were like, oh, I thought white daddies were magically better. Oh, you can't keep a white man, blah, 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 blah. I guess white daddies aren't the best and all this shit. Like, and it was black dudes, of course, commenting on those videos of me. And it's like, I didn't even mention niggas in that video. I just mentioned that one particular asshole, okay? And here's what is the most, uh, <laughs> uh, funny thing about all this is like black men are so triggered when black women just still don't want to date you i still don't want to date black men i'm still divested i still believe white men are better okay just because this asshole uh led me on does not mean that he's any any <laughs> doesn't mean that y'all are still are equal no you guys are not equal black men cannot take a no let's just keep it real here a lot of black men are are fucking dangerous, violent, and they can't take a goddamn no. Niggas in general just can't take a no. I went once. I told um him um no to like when he was trying to touch me in the car. He stopped. He dropped me home, and I was able to dump him in peace. I you know I got home safely. I was able to tell him like this ain't gonna work out, and I blocked his ass. I haven't heard from him since. He's left me the fuck alone. Let this have been a nigga. He would have made fake uh, fake phone numbers to reach out to me to harass me. He would have probably kept going, if y'all know what I mean, when it came to the inappropriate touching. Okay? He would have been worse. Okay? I've had very bad experiences with black men who just cannot take fucking rejection. I know from firsthand that black men do not know how to fucking say, nay, take no for a goddamn answer. Okay? So don't tell me that, uh, you know, white men, um, must not be the best white men, and you know, uh, <laughs> all this comparison, but y'all ain't the same as white men. White men are still better than y'all. I don't give two shits, okay? I don't care. Um, so, you know, and plus, like I said, he was not violent to me or abusive. He was just an asshole who led me on and lied. Whoop the fucking do. Black men are abusive black men are violent black men can't take, take no for an answer and y'all know what i mean if you look at the stats every fucking four hours a black woman is damn killed by a nigga that she's in a relationship with so none of that's happened to me and i'm still here st i'm sitting in my car i'm fine bitch the hell so my point being is white men are so better i still am divested i don't want to date niggas just because i've had some bad experiences with some white guys does not mean this is totally gonna change this is gonna change my mind at all stop trying it's not anyway i want to talk about um russell simmons daughter um kim the daughter you have a kimora simmons a 21 year old with that uh old creep now just because i'm divested does not mean i go up for every single black woman uh white man pairing that is gross she is 21 and he is 60 fucking five he he was a grown-ass man when she was a baby ill ill okay now i'm not saying ill on her part it's not her fault no let me explain her dad russell simmons has been such an abusive asshole and she's talked about this um like last year and about how financially abusive he was how he just acted like a fucking emotionally abusive predator and basically he was a predator to kimora lee simmons he was in his 30s um dating kimora lee simmons simmons when she was 16 so it's alarmed behavior in her, her mind she has daddy issues and she's looking for a dad and this sick fuck the white dude the billionaire is taking advantage of it i'm gonna be honest that's what i see it's sad she could find a white guy who's around her age i mean maybe if he was in his 30s i wouldn't care so much but a motherfucker in his 60s dating a 21 year old is fucking creepy i don't care i don't care so but that just shows how damaged uh, her daughter, Kimora Lee Simmons' daughter, is from her sh her shitty dad's abusive uh, ass. I'm just saying. The emotional abuse she went through, the turmoil she went through with him harassing Kimora throughout her childhood. Like, that just shows how much her black dad fucked her over. Sorry. It has still goes back to you niggas, okay? Because she had a black daddy who who... who sent a very horrible uh representation of men to her so of course she's gonna be looking for men who don't look like her dad but at the same time she still wants a dad so this is why she's with this old ass fuck and i mean the vacation looked fun i'm a little i, I was kind of low-key jealous at first and i realized girl she's 21 with a 65 year old he probably can't even get it up anyway god bless that girl <laughs>
I forgot her name. I just to, but I saw the, the, I saw all the like, you know, I saw all the news coverage about it and everybody was like trying to blame her and call her gross, calling her all types of fucking names. And that pissed me off because it's not her fault. When I was 21, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And I damn sure, you know, and anyway, 21 years old is still a damn baby. Okay. And, uh, I didn't know half the shit I know now at 29 that I did at 21, you know. My point being is her black father fucked her up mentally. This is why she's looking for a daddy in a different form, okay? And we should give her some damn grace. Anywho, that's all I got to say. Uh, white dicks forever. <laughs> white me forever, okay? And I went on a great date last night. I'm, I'm not going to gush about it, but I I'm, I move on quickly. What, what can I say? Anyway, bye, y'all.